Sometimes you have a design deadline that seems impossible, but it's a deadline and it's unmovable. So how are you going to hit it? In this video, we're going to discuss the strategies to make sure you hit every deadline. What's up and welcome to another week of Wins and Fail where I'm sharing on a weekly base my struggles and strategies for winning as an entrepreneur and as a designer. And today, this week, it's just the beginning of the week and I'm very stressed out and intimidated because I have a huge project. I'm going to be building the most complicated Webflow website that I've ever built and I have big hopes for it to be to be an amazing website, award-winning website. And doing that in a week is pretty tight because as I said, it's the most complicated build I've ever done. I, it has to be finished this week because next week I'm going on a family vacation in Greece. My father is celebrating 70 years old and we're going on as a family. And by the time I come back, I'm launching my new course. The website has to be ready. So it has to be ready this week. I'm really as I said, stressed out. But while I'm stressing out, I also know that it's going to be okay. We're going to have something ready at the end of the week because I always hit deadlines. And in this video, I want to share with you kind of the strategies of how I operate to make sure that I always consistently for years have been hitting every deadline because that's kind of one of my principles and my values. I guess, I don't know when it started. I think maybe during my my military service, I'm living in Israel, so everybody has to do a military service. And I used to um, serve in kind of a 24 hour shift where we would have to finish certain things at the end of the shift before we go home. So, I mean, I, you couldn't delay that because you had to leave and somebody else would come. So you just have to finish everything on time. And I guess that's where I kind of developed those techniques, which were actually very, very useful later on when I went to design school and all my other students who were in school with me were staying up, like doing night, like all nighters, I think like didn't sleep through the night just to make sure that they have the, the homework ready for, you know, tomorrow's class. And I would finish them up at a decent hour so that I can, you know, watch TV, watch, <laughs> watch some movies with my girlfriend late at night and won't have to um, work through the night. And they were like, we have the same amount of work. How can you finish it earlier? Um, and I think it comes down to two things. So the first one is prioritization, which leads to the sequence in which you're working on. So I'll elaborate on that in a second. And the second thing is the idea that when the deadline hits, it's really over. And even if you're not 100% happy about the situation, you know that the deadline is over, it's over. So let me start with the second uh, issue and then talk about this, the first one, because I think that's where a lot of designers really struggle. So we as designers, we always wish we had more time, more budget, and we can always improve something and make sure it looks um, it looks wonderful, right? It can always look better. And that is basically our curse because we'll, we'll always try to work a little bit more, which will make our life you know, harder because we'll pull all, all nighters and we'll burn out and we'll make projects less profitable because we're work, working more than we're budgeting for. So having that passion to always try a little bit harder and, and not, um, you know, stopping when we when the budget or deadline or the time that we've scheduled for the pro uh, project is over, that's basically when we lack the discipline to stop, when we think we should stop and be okay with the fact that the work is not perfect, that's when we kind of, we do the problem for ourselves. Like the, the problem is internal. It's not an external. The problem is not with the deadline. It's with us not being um, willing to walk away from work that we think could be better. Now, that being said, there are still tight deadlines, uh, which makes it hard to come up to create work that you're happy with during that tight deadline. And that's where the first um, principle comes into place. The first one is you should prioritize the task. You should break down the project. Not all the um, elements of the project are of the same importance and they should not be um, done in a general sequence. They should be sequenced based on the priorities because 
assuming that you're not going to be able to do everything that you want to do because the deadline is shorter, it's most important that you'll finish the first things first um, rather than, you know, do stuff which is irrelevant or that honestly you could live without. Now, let's give you a practical example. So this week, I'm going to be working on a website project, but this is true for basically every kind of project. So there are several pages that have has to exist and obviously those pages has to be responsive because people um, are going to visit the website from mobile responsive list. So those are basically the core things that has to happen. Those have to stand in the deadline. The pages has to be built with the content and then they have to be mobile responsive and they have to be, you know, it has to be functional. Then there are, it needs to be very beautiful and maybe we can add amazing interactions and maybe we can make, you know, all these fancy little hover interaction or animation or all these type of things that will make the website look amazing. But, you know, it can work without them. It's going to be painful. It's not maybe not going to be as amazing as I want them to be, but it's still going to work and, and, and be functional. So the way that I'm, and this is very high level, but you can break this down into really granular, granular tasks. Um, I'm going to start off with the things that has to happen. And hopefully I'm going to have time to reach the other, um, you know, make sure that everything is needy, greedy, pixel perfect with nice animation, interaction, smooth. Um, but if that's not going to happen, at least I'm going to have a website done by the deadline. So, and so that's the first issue, right? Prioritize, create a sequence of work that makes sure that you do the first things first, and then having the discipline to stop when the deadline hits. Well, specifically this week, I'm actually going to fly over, but another possibility, you know, would be to take the laptop with me and work throughout the vacation, which would actually suck. So the second issue is to have the discipline to stop and be okay when the deadline is, you know, done. Um, and that's very, very painful and it's very, very hard. But if you're not going to do that now, you're probably not going to do it later. I mean, you might tell yourself, oh, that will change later when I have better clients and more money. And, but that will never change. If you don't have the principle to stop right now, you'll never stop. You'll always be overworked, uh, less profitable, burned out and all of that. So have the discipline to stop. Even if you're not 100% ready, uh, even if you're not happy, even if you're not proud, do it and move on and live your life. Hope that was valuable. I'll see you on the next video.